bonjour and welcome to the channel. Today in Pierre's Kitchen we will check out the Greek salad, a beautiful salad to make during the summer, healthy, light, tasty, very nice flavors into it. I love a good Greek salad to be honest. I spent it myself quite some time in Greece and Crete and what a beautiful place for food. There is no really right ways or wrong ways of doing it unless you put basilico into it. Don't do it. Please, don't put basilico in the Greek salad. Yes, the Greek salad, a salad that everybody loves to eat, is just always beautiful. And what's important about it is the ingredients. So we will watch in this video how to make it three different ways. The first one is really the traditional way and we're not gonna spend so much time on it because many videos been done on it. But I will tell you what ingredient I think you should use to really get that Greek taste. Then we will see a family style Greek salad, the kind of recipe you can put in the middle of the table in a bowl and everybody can help themselves and then we will do a third type which is more gastronomic and we bring a lot of care to the dicing, to the ingredients, to the taste and the presentation and trying to stick through the original concept of the Greek salad. So let's get started with the ingredients for the first recipe of the Greek salad, the traditional one, and we can start with the feta cheese. It has to be a great feta cheese, not some sort of half processed cheese. You have to get the real McCoy, you have to get some proper feta. The olives should be Kalamata olives and we will use non-pitted olive for the traditional salad. We will also need some peppers, sweet peppers. Normally you would use the long green ones. I could not find any of them. So I went for the red one, which looked pretty nice. And that's the thing with the Greek salad. You want to choose the best quality of ingredients, the best taste you can find. Same thing with the onions. We'll be using white onions in that recipe. So you can just cut the tomatoes in quarters, slice the white onion, then we will also slice the cucumber, or you can dice it if you prefer. Then we will use the red sweet pepper. Unfortunately, didn't find the green one, so we'll use the red one. And I like to peel them because the green ones that come in Greece got a very thin skin, but those ones are pretty, got a thicker skin and it's just not nice when you eat them. So I always like to peel them. Now let's pour in those beautiful Kalamata olives. Let's give it a good drizzle of olive oil, some oregano dry on the top. Again, if you can find some oregano on a stalk, dry, but on a stalk, not fresh. It doesn't taste the same. Don't use fresh one, better to use dry one. We will now top that beautiful salad with a good slice of feta cheese, some more olive oil on the top, and we are ready to go. Bon appétit, beautiful traditional Greek salad, so nice, simple. Let's now check the second way of doing it. It's gonna be quick as well. Just a few ingredients are changing. Let's dive into it. So we got that beautiful local lemon that we will integrate. So we will squeeze a little, but we will also zest a little bit of it. We will use some French sea salt from Guérande, which is less sharp than any other salt I know, honestly. I took some liberties today and will be using some pomegranate syrup. We will dice those small cucumbers. We found Lebanese cucumbers. They are beautiful and a bit more tastier than the big ones. This is going straight in the bowl and we got lucky today. We got a long green pepper, which is ideal for the Greek salad. So you can see what I meant by the thickness of the skin earlier on. Let's dice those and that's going in the bowl as well. Let's sizzle some iceberg lettuce. You would normally use romaine, which will be a bit more traditional. We will also thinly slice some spring onions. We will also roughly cut the olives and the cherry tomatoes. Crumble some feta 
and dice also some. We will now use some of the zest of that lemon. Make sure you only grate the yellow part, not the white one. It is bitter and it doesn't taste great. Let's sprinkle some oregano on the top. A good drizzle of olive oil. A touch of salt. Some black pepper. I will now use a drizzle of that pomegranate syrup. Only a drizzle, not too much. Just a little touch of uh, lemon juice. Don't miss the pips. And I will top up that salad with some roasted pine nuts. It's just so nice with everything else. We will now toss that salad and you can see it's just the perfect salad in a bowl in the center of your table to share with your guest. A bit more leaves than the classic one. So now let's get our knife sharpened because we're gonna have quite a bit of Thin chopping to do for the next one. So this time we will do a more refined version of the Greek salad and it will be fantastic, you will see. I mean, I love it because in every spoon you take, you will get a bit of everything and it's just nice. You know, you, you will get a bit of a pine nuts, feta, salad, tomato, olives, capers and all that. So let's do it. Let's do a proper gastronomic Greek salad. So let's dice those vine tomatoes first, quite small, little dice you can see and we're gonna try to replicate that on the other vegetables. Let's dice the same size the cucumbers and please for this recipe use a tray, it's really important because like that your vegetables will not get spoiled. We can now dice that red pepper and I will not be peeling it this time as I will dice it so small it won't be necessary. We will now dice that feta cheese into small dices and you will want to choose like a good quality feta cheese. You want to have like not the highest grade but I mean in Greece they have so many different ones. We will now sizzle the spring onion pretty thinly so it's not too strong and it's just the perfect size to make it enjoyable when you eat it. We can now sizzle the romaine salad, pretty pretty thin, so we want just to have a slight crunch, but we want it to melt when we have it in the mouth, we don't want to, to have to chew through it, so very very thin. And we will use some dill as well that we will be chopping up like so. We also will dice the olives, so they will be pitted this time and we will dice them as small as the rest. Let's now chop some capers roughly. We will now sprinkle on the top of the tray the dry oregano and now let's grate some of that lemon zest. I really wish you were here to smell it, it's just amazing. The flavor and the perfume of the lemons around here are just pretty uncommon to anywhere else. We do a festival about it actually. And that's it, we are done with most of the chopping for that recipe. We will now toast those beautiful pine nuts in a little pan. Set the pan to medium to high heat, around 7 or 8. And please stay close to it and watch it and keep on moving it. So be patient, stay close to the pan, keep on moving it. Adjust the temperature and you want to get it like that, just beautiful golden color and we're gonna cool them down on a plate. Let's add now the final touches, just before serving it, that's what you do, you prepare everything in advance and when your guests are at the table, you will do what we're gonna do now, so you will add a little squeeze of lemon to it, a little bit of salt, and a generous drizzle of olive oil, extra virgin Greek olive oil will be perfect for the purpose. Also some white balsamic vinegar. And now at the last minute we will be able to mix it, toss it gently in the tray again so everything doesn't squash together, all the ingredients are pretty nicely set in that tray. That's why I use all the time trays when I make salad, just not to squash everything. So now it's about time to dress that plate and I use like a large bowl plate, let's say. It also looks great in a transparent bowl, a Greek salad, 
always looks great and honestly tastes fantastic. It's been quite some time since I ate a Greek salad and honestly I enjoy them, never disappointed. So if you enjoyed the recipe and the video, please feel free to subscribe, like and comment. You can also check us out on the different media platform listed down below. And until next time, Kalispera Sas and bon appétit.